Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Bioshock 2. You're here with Randall Lefebvre, otherwise known as Drax Craven, before he play pays the troll toll to get into that hole. Speaking of trolls and tolls and holes, I need to find another little sister before I go down there. That area has got an atom filled corpse in it, and I would really hate to, um, to not take a little sister down there with me. It would be a real waste of everyone's time. Oh boy. Oh. Fired. Jeez. You're gonna run out of employees. Office of Frank Fontaine. I don't wanna go in there just yet. I gotta preserve the hype on that one, you know? But uh Yeah, come on. Come on. Where's another big daddy? Maybe they won't spawn yet. No, oh, damn it. Never mind. My penalty is drill charging all the way to the location. Is that a remote hack dart? Yep. Put some heavy rivets that I don't use. But they're slow to fire. Woo, give me those rocket spears. Alright. What do we have here? Drill power 2? Uh. Uh. Oh. oh! My life is complete. Get out of here, Firestorm. I gotta punch people. Alright, a new cognitive model. Ow. Interesting. It's uh, I find it very interesting that it's Jack that taught her about this sort of new way of thinking, this new idea about about psychology. Very interesting. Uh, anyway, I figured there was something really big over there. I was wrong. Have I gone? Where? Well, let's see where I've gone. Uh, right, I haven't gotten through the lab airlock yet, and I haven't found the code to the door in the theater. Adam Research Laboratory? Oh, wow. Better get up and around. I'll check out Fontaine's office now, before I go, uh, before I do anything else. At the very least, there's gotta be something cool in there. Oh, god, I got, I got another drill power. I wonder how much damage my drill does now. Besides just, you know, destroying things. Hey, hey, come here. Come here, security bot. Yay, Kenneth! What's the frequency, Kenneth? And then I should hit the robot. I don't want to hit the robot, but I do want to ask it what the frequency is. I don't know why you're supposed to beat the shit out of someone after you ask them what the frequency, Kenneth, but apparently that's a thing. What's up, bro? What's up? Element Elemental storm? Why stick with a boring routine when discouraging pesky foes? Use this tonic for scorching, shocking, or chilling surprise. Oh my god, everything is coming up Millhouse. Uh, extended real damage research. I, go, I gotta keep the damage research. Just gotta keep the sports boost. I wanna keep the armored shell. Headhunter, I think, is what's gotta go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get destroyed. Get out of my face. Alpha series, more like chump series. I'm the best thing that ever came out of you, Gil. And that's why I'm gonna help you. Fired? Oh boy. Oh, now you're talking my language, Fontaine. Glorp, 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 glorp. Hick. Anything, uh, anything down here? No. Come on. Oh, I found one of those relays. Nice. Get some more booze. Drink it all up. Oh, God. Oh, man. I don't know how I would feel or deal with... Each new tyrant ventured here in search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. Tyrant? But every aspiring sees 
Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? Oh, uh, uh, number one, you're treating me like people again. Number two, I know he's here to loot this place. He told me that. He's not hiding anything. Woo! Woo! Hey now. Alright, this wrench doesn't do, like, an insane amount of damage, but it does damage. Kenneth, putting in work! Nope. I'll just get to the medical machine, and I'll fix all this. He's right behind me, isn't he? Slap. <laughs> That's how I imagine it going in his head, anyway. Oh, uh, looks like it's shotgun time. My favorite time of day. Also, all this booze. Fontaine really loved his drink, didn't he? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. The floor is lava. Or lightning, to be more precise. A source of volunteers. Anyone in the plasma business ultimately requires the use of human test subjects. It's our dirty little secret. And to be frank, Rapture doesn't really want to know, provided the end product is sound. The volunteers were scarce, even as the economy buckled. A man named Sinclair approached us with a seemingly limitless supply. He uh, rented them to us, bound and sedated. Wow. So. Oh, boop, 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 boop. hey now, hey now. So, Sinclair. Pool sells me out to Ryan, and then Sinclair sells me out to Fontaine. Not that I would care being a fucking robot and all. Oh my god. Alex is pretty great. Poor Gil. Idiots. Get out of the water. It fucking kills people. They really didn't think this through. But I guess when you're all crazy and spliced up, you know, who cares? Anyone paying attention? Not them. Oh, that teddy bear was wearing a hat. I'm so sorry that I knocked it over. All right, I will break that thing in just a minute. I'm gonna go check out the other office, just to make sure nothing fucks up or goes wonky or weird when when I do that. Cause that would suck. I would hate to lock myself out of something. The unstable teleportation plasmid. Dollars. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Okay. Let me just loot this room, and then I'll check that out and see what that does. Woo! Lucky me. Mini turrets. I'll have to remember that. So I touch it, and then Houdini splices away someplace else. Uh. Oh, okay. I'm guessing I'm going to have to follow it. Through the door, I imagine. Or maybe it went behind me. Oh, Kenneth, put yourself back together, buddy. Oh, I'm so lost. Where could the unstable teleport plasmid have gone? Is it in here? Is it back in here somewhere? I have to let you go. Ugh. Sorry, bucko, I gotta let you go. Nope, the unstable teleportation plasmid seems to have continued forward. Back through the office halls. I think. There it is. God damn it. I don't know what it's going to do when I finally get it. I don't imagine it's going to help me teleport anywhere, but you never know. Oh, I missed the nitro splicers. And they were just like, let's give everyone grenades. Who cares, right? And I'm like, no, 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 no. It was cool when it was just them. 
It's cool when they drop smoke bombs and shit, man. All right. Mm, stable teleportation? Nope. Doesn't look like it went this way. Probably went downstairs. Or maybe it went into Fontaine's office. Uh, it could be anywhere. By virtue of being, you know, invisible and shit. Actually, I'll take that. Thank you. No, it did not go here. Huh. I like how that portrait is completely fake. Unless that's supposed to be Jack. Because, as we know, Fontaine had no family. But he seems like the kind of guy who would definitely want to keep up the appearance that he did. You know? Very, very important. Oh, crap. Whoops, wrong button. Hey. Yeah, I know. You don't gotta tell me. Oh, I'm all full on mini turrets. That makes me happy and sad. Ooh, there it is. Where is it going? This way? Or to the theater? I wonder. Hello? Teleport unstable teleportation plasma. Did you go this way? Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. Catch you on the flip side, unstable teleports. Uh oop. Oh my god, I love that so much. Too much even. Oh five zero five two five four. Okay. That's the code on the uh, door. I just read it from across the room. It says, help me, 5254. Thank you, game. Wicked. That's pretty cool. Uh, how did she write that? <laughs> She's tied up, whatever. Gene Tonic. Careful hacker too. I would love Careful Hacker 2. I, I really need it. I am having a hell of a time. What does it say? I can't... Oh. Prototype. Our hope was to bond a little sister to a single protector, so she had to be expendable in case of error. As we were fabricating a father bond, we couldn't really afford to have the girl's parents asking around. So, Fontaine's orphanage is provided. The procedure was an unprecedented success. If I had only known who the child was, Eleanor, I'm so sorry. Hey, Gil. You didn't know, man. You didn't know. And you did. And you you did your best to make it right. Kudos. Welcome back, Delta. I didn't see that before. Also, where'd the damn teleport thingy go? Fuck. It was this way, right? Yeah, it was right there, and then... Oh! This is the most annoying little side quest in the game. Okay. So is it around here? Yes? No? Wakarimasen? No, and this just leads back to the theater. Okay, it's definitely not this way. Another news. Drill fuel. Thanks. Because I'm going to need it to drill around. Get where I need to go. Maybe it's taking me back to the entrance. Or in here. I don't know. Hello? Ah, damn it. No, that thing's long gone. I don't know where it went. I'll cover it again sometime later, okay? Sorry for getting so lost, but I want to know what it does. Ooh, means of control. I can't believe I didn't see that. Prison, it seems, was a blessing. Oh, there it is. Brian is now dead by his own son's hand. But far more interesting is the program of compulsion bred into his child, coded W-Y-K. Would you kindly? Some manner of verbal trigger phrase, which the boy would obey as an order, unerringly. In a way, this sad <laughs> <laughs> intelligent, but 
devoid of so-called free will, with all its convenient blind spots. What if he had been instructed to uphold the common good? What if he were a volunteer? Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. I. What? Oh wow. If I hadn't seen it before, I would have had no opportunity but to see it then. Oh. <laughs> oh, is there an Adam Slug around? Adam Slug, Adam Slug, Adam Slug. Nope. What the hell? Vending Expert 2. Enjoy rock bottom prices. I don't need rock bottom prices, but thank you very much for offering. What the f Sounds kind of like Ryan, actually. He might not want to admit that, but uh, he's dead now because he was a tyrant. And, I mean, there's nothing like a benevolent dictator, but he certainly wasn't a benevolent one. Anyway, now that I've wasted all of our time going on wild goose chases, I can finally get back here and d do what needs to be done. Next time on Let's Play Bioshock 2, I break the final relay. Good night, everyone. Heck. <laughs>